A young man by the name of Kinsey was observed packing his belongings into his suitcases with excitement. He was glad to have been accepted into the Kaidok College, where he would be free from his nagging parents and his elder sister's servitude. When his big sister entered, she told him that she had come to get him for his school and gave him a hug, telling him to be delighted that she had come. However, Kinsey's attitude was quite the reverse of what his sister had anticipated. Kinsey pushed her away right away, telling her to let him go and that her presence with him would cause difficulty for him. But Kinsey was aware that it was strange to see his older sister at that point because she was accustomed to sleeping through the day and keeping the air conditioning on. When Kinsey's sister said that she wondered what gave him the courage to talk to her like, way after he had just graduated from high school and that regardless of what he said, she would transport him to the school by herself, she did so while sporting a sour face. While his sister was leaving his house with the bags, however, Kinsey did not believe his sister's niceties. Kinsey's sister then stated that she would not dispute with him because it was his first day of school, and she proceeded to the living room where their parents appeared nonchalant about the taunts their children were flinging at each other. Kinsey was also visible at the time, with his sister putting her hand over his shoulder and pulling him closer to herself. Seeing this, Kinsey raised his parents' attention to the fact that if they are going to let his sister to abuse him, Kinsey's sister, whom she referred to as Bayabao, should stop abusing her little brother and send him to school on time. Bayabo then let go of Kinsey, and they left the house, with Kinsey yelling that he did not want her to send him to school. After a while, they were spotted in a car, with Bayabao driving and Kinsey sitting in the backseat, wondering what his sister was up to, as it seemed quite strange of her to be that sweet without anything going wrong. Not long after, Kinsey noticed the signpost of his school and assumed he had arrived. But to his surprise, Bayabao sped past the school, prompting him to rage at his sister over why she drove past the school. As she grinned at Kinsey, Bayabao said indifferently that she would accompany him to school later. Kinsey noticed this and commented that he already knew she wasn't so sweet and caring to take him to school without any hidden motive. He then asked her what she was planned to do and told her she should drive back straight away because he had finally gotten rid of her. When Bayabao heard this, she burst with rage, saying that Kinsey knows that when she is angry, she doesn't know which pedal to press and which to release so she would challenge him to irritate her one more time. Kinsey instantly apologized to her and then asked her politely what she intended to do. When Bayabo and Kinsey arrived at an apartment, she opened the main door and brought the bags in, saying that they should unpack his stuff first and then take him back to school. Kinsey then remarked that he knew she wasn't that concerned because she took him to school when she could have slept longer. When Bayabo heard this, she told him, holding up her phone, that if he did not hurry up, she would email a picture of your bags to their parents. Kinsey then asked what she planned to do by bringing him to the apartment to which Bayabao replied him that the school is not a good place for him to stay, and that there is a lot of dirty boys at the dorm. And the boys all like to drink and party while they watched weird videos which could not be compared to him staying with a beautiful lady like her. However, Kinsey moved away from him as he said that he had seen her face a lot that he is so bored already and that he wants to stay at school and have another taste of life. He then grabbed his bags and attempt to leave the house. When Bayabao saw this, and called out to him as she edged closer to him acting meekly to which she said that she is a weak girl, and so lonely, and that staying alone is not convenient for her. Also she has a spacious apartment, so cleaning the house will be troublesome and then laid out a lot of excuses to which Kinsey was not moved at all. Seeing this, Bayabao then changed her tactics to which she said that since she has a nice and beautiful body which may prompt perverts to follow her when she walks at night and then she would have no one to protect her, however, Kinsey was unfazed as he replied that he is actually worried about the stalkers and perverts instead of her. Bayabao did not let him leave as she held on to the bags which made Kinsey to said that even if he wanted to live there, the school would not allow it and that should the school gets to know about his staying outside, he would be expelled. Bayabao smiled as she heard this, as it seemed that she has been expecting the statement to which she replied that their father has already handled the issue, so Kinsey is allowed to stay outside the school as authorized by the school. Kinsey was startled when he heard that, he realized that he could not pull out any stunts to prevent his staying with his sister but then he is not convinced as he called his father, who confirmed what Bayabao said and that Bayabao is a girl, so if she lives alone, they would be worried. Kinsey tried to argue his way out that the school has rules to which his father replied that if Kinsey wishes, he can stay in the school once in a while, so that way it doesn't go against the school rules, and that Bayabao is a top student while Kinsey is bad at studying so she can help him with the studies which should be a win for Kinsey and that they do not want him to join the bad peers so he should just stay with his sister while she helps him with his studies. Kinsey then told his father not to change the topic and that it's not his fault that he is not good academically as he thought to his mind that the reason was because they were not biological siblings. He recalled back to when he was young as he secretly overheard his mother calling someone and that either him or his sister is not their child and back then. He was extremely afraid, so he told his sister to which Bayabao replied that there is a secret which was that Kinsey is a gift for paying phone call cost and warned him not to tell anyone or else he would be sold. As young as he was before he was so scared that he kept the secret so he won't be sold off. 
Kinsey's father then said that the contract is already handled, so he should just stay with his big sister as it's also for his own good to which his father hung the call. Seeing this, Bayabao smirked, knowing that Kinsey has no choice but to comply, so she said that she would go take a nap and that while Kinsey is done making meals, he should let her know to which she went into her room. While Kinsey was quite speechless at the turn of the events which prompted him to yell out her name, saying that he wondered how many years she wants to use to enslave him. Meanwhile, Bayaba was seen in her bed smuggling happily as she hugged the pillow. After three years, around the autumn season, Bayaba's apartment was seen as all the place was dirtied and littered with Bayaba's underwears, all kinds of alcoholic bottle drinks were seen on the table, an evidence of late night party in the living room. Meanwhile, Kinsey was seen on his bed as he mumbled his big sister's name in his sleep to which he abruptly woke up due to the loud knocking from Bayaba to which Kinsey said that she should stop knocking and that she speak up if she has anything to say to which. Bayaba replied at the door that she is hungry. Kinsey then replied that he knew that was what she would say. He got up from his bed as he dressed up and attempt to walk towards the door but slipped on a package to which he hit his head on the ground as he fell down, looking dazed. Kinsey was later seen in a white plain compartment as he laid on the ground. Kinsey looked around as he wondered where he was. He then sensed a system interface which stated that the place is known as the Binded Subspace, which quickly disappeared just like how it appeared. He quickly looked around himself wondering what was that to which he heard a voice which said that the Binded Host is suitable for binding. This prompted Kinsey to ask who is at the place asking the person to come out. The next moment, the voice continued stating that the iris and DNA will be locked and that the system will automatically update to which he was ejected out of the space. He wondered what was going on which he later accustomed to be a dream thinking that it was because how he was tortured by Bayabao, which made him to have such a dream. He rose to his feet and opened the curtains so that there would be sunlight in his room and then stretched his body and then went to the living room, where all the place in total mess. Kinsey sighed deeply in resignation as he starts to pack the trash. Not long after, he found a stocking in which there is a cup in it. This enraged as he called Bayaba a pervert wondering why her friends are still with her despite her behavior, asking her to come and pack her things. After a while, Kinsey was seen panting and exhausted as he was finally able to pack the trashes and then went to wash his face off. He then tied the apron and start to make a meal not long after, he got the breakfast ready, to which he head over to Bayaba's room which reeked of alcohol, prompting Kinsey to nag at her and then informed her that the breakfast is ready who replied sleepily as she wrapped herself in the thick blanket not wanting to get up. Last night, Bayabao came to inform his little brother it's her 25th birthday anniversary and that she wanted to do something huge so she needed him to do something for her which was that she is going to call her friends to her house for party. So Bayabao brought him to meet them and help her to drink as she does not know how to drink which prompted her friends to force him to drink all kind of drinks all night. Kinsey then taunted his big sister why she should sleep when he was forced to get drunk by her. So he removed the blanket from her to which Kinsey saw that Bayaba was sleeping in her lingerie, looking shocked. However, Bayaba got up from her bed and used her shirt to cover her chest saying that she doesn't know that Kinsey was like that who then asked her to get up and eat her breakfast as he left the room. Seeing this, Bayaba seemed to be disheartened that her charm could not attract her little brother who is a man. Kinsey was seen in the living room while Bayaba was seen as she wore a top and came out of her room looking groggy. Meanwhile, Kinsey said that he was the one who was tortured and forced drunk by her friends as he wondered why his sister is overreact to, then said that he was the one who is overreacting and that she was the one who cleaned up the mess after he fainted the previous night. Bayabao then said that she had to do everything all by herself until 3.30 am in the morning before she could sleep and then she was awake with a growling tummy as she wanted to pick up the glass of milk but Kinsey slapped her hand away, saying that she should brush her teeth and wash her face which Bayabao meekly responded. Meanwhile, she peeked at Kinsey who was eating and quickly snatched a slice of toast and eat it, which Kinsey noticed her nonetheless. So she quickly ran away and poked her tongue at him who reacted by flinging his slipper at her which failed to hit her as it was blocked by the door. Kinsey then said that she really does not behave like an elder sister, who then replied that Kinsey is a pervert who hasn't gotten through puberty while peeking at her body that early in the morning, implying that he does not have the right to chastise her. For as long as Kinsey could remember, his parents have been treating his sister like a little princess as they gave her whatever she wanted and treated her like royalty, while they would scold and beat Kinsey all the time which portrayed the fact there is a huge difference in the mode of their treatment, as it seemed that Bayabao was their own child while he is a gift for paying phone fee as it was been told by Bayabao. Ever since then, Kinsey was young he had been talking to their parents that they pamper Bayabao a lot, which he thought was because she is pretty. His father's reply has been that, as the son, he should understand their efforts and that since ancient times, males have been treated and that the reason they are much strict with him was because they cared a lot about him. However, no matter what his parents expected of him, he eventually gave up hope and accepted the fact that he is just a peasant and an average person. Meanwhile, Bayabao grew up in praises not only because she is pretty, she is also smarter than him, as exams were like a game to her, who always plays all time before the exams while he stays up all night studying. 
But at the end, Baobao has always been the smarter one as she easily cleared the exams. As he was still lost in his thoughts, he recalled that Baobao had been in the toilet for quite some time. This prompted him to ask if she fell in the toilet or what else could have kept her in the toilet for such a long time. The next moment, Baobao came out of the toilet as she pat her face looking pleased to herself as she remarked that girls need more time to wash up, poking her tongue at him. Kinsey then picked up his phone saying that it's past 8 already, as he explained. Further that it took her 10 minutes just to wash her face and brush her teeth, implying that even if she can finish her breakfast in 5 minutes, she would still be late for work, and that she would still need to change her clothes among some other things, which means that no matter what she will still definitely be late which would make her to lose some amount of money as a fine for lateness, to which Kinsey continued to rant on as he incessantly nagged at her. Baaba waited for him to finish what he was saying to which she said that she has resigned so she is not going to work. Kinsey looked quite shocked when he heard this as his cup fell out of his hand. He then asked when she resigned. Bayabao then replied that she had told him yesterday to which Kinsey replied that was not true. She then said she probably forgot to inform him as it was her anniversary and there are lots of things to plan and do. However, Kinsey grabbed her at the shoulder as he was quite concerned about the reason she resigned when she was doing well, who then teased him that she was sexually harassed by her boss, which Kinsey surprisingly reacted. Stunning Bayabao who then smiled and said that is a good excuse should their father ever ask about her work. Kinsey then realized that she was joking concerning the sexual harassment. Kinsey then said that the job was quite good and the trainees get $5,000 which is quite a lucrative job that other people will kill for and that he wondered where she got money for feeding. Meanwhile, their father is still coolly bragging about her to their relatives. Also the company, Aya, just ranked in the top 500 global companies, asking her if she wants their father to lose his face. Bayabao then replied that she realized something during her birthday which is that, time flies and that before she knows it, she will be 30 soon. Enough so she thought that if this continues, it will be late and she would deeply regret it and she cannot waste her youth at the top 500 global company. Bayabao then declared that she has decided to get rid of the chain and try out new ideas, so she would chase her dreams. However, Kinsey then teased that sooner or later, she will become as old as a granny. Bayabao became enraged as she heard this, as she grabbed. Kinsey by the collar gave him a death stare which scared the heck out of Kinsey, who quickly rephrased his words saying that she is indeed young one, while wondering why he felt uneasy as though he recalled something. Kinsey then asked what she wanted to do, who then declared that her goal is to get many awards and become a superstar or perhaps a goddess, which was exactly what Kinsey expected her to say which made him recall back to when Bayabao was in middle school. Meanwhile her classmates made fun of her name. This event was the one and only dark history of Kin Bayabao. When Bayabao was in middle school, her friends ridiculed her by calling her a good and obedient baby, which is the literal meaning of her name. Her classmates would respond that she is already an adult, so why is she calling herself a baby? This prompted Bayabao to steal the account book in order to change her name. But she was caught by the instructor, who phoned her parents and informed them that there was insufficient justification to alter her name, and her parents also did not accompany her to sign the contract. Her parents severely disciplined her when she returned home, which was the first time she had been scolded. Then, as she went into high school, she became quite skilled at deceiving others because her personality is so different from her appearance. However, she was stalked by someone who called his attention to her, saying that she has the potential to become a superstar, to which the person replied that her texture, quality, and beauty will be what will cause the world to change because of her and that the sun shines because of her and that is her talent, to which the stalker replied that the people Bayaba will be fighting against the sun and the earth. Bayaba told her parents about her dream, and they locked her up. Bayabao's mother then stated that the world is full with wicked individuals and that some people may be trying to dupe and ask her to do some horrible things. However, Bayabao does not want to take it easy with her parents as she retorted back. This however provoked her parents and scolding her the more. Meanwhile, Kinsey was seen by the side as he enjoyed the view with a drink somehow feeling pleased that his sister also got beaten. If it wasn't for Kinsey who stopped her from picking drama school instead of high school, she would have probably be disowned by their parents by then. Kinsey asked why she wanted to go for her dream after all this years which implied that she never stopped thinking about it. He tried to coax his sister that the being a superstar is filled with hard work and regret meanwhile the society is also a dark place on its own. However, Bayabao insisted that she is smarter than that and should there be any problems, she would surely resolve it by herself. When Kinsey realized that Bayabao was still hellbent on being a superstar, he brought out his phone as he attempted to call their father but was stopped by Bayabao who pushed him in that moment, making both of them fell down while. Bayaba was on top of Kinsey. Kinsey was quite startled by her aggressiveness. He then asked what was she doing, who replied that if their father comes to know about it, he would surely beat her. At this point, Bayaba has lost her charm as immature as she looked terrified just like a little girl. Kinsey did not fall for her pitiful gaze which prompted him in pushing her away from him and grabbed his phone in an attempt to call their dad. It was at this moment that the voice sounded in his head instructing him to help Bayabao become a superstar and he would be rewarded 300 points but if otherwise, there will be 100 points deducted. 
Kinsey froze at the sound of the voice, wondering if he was dreaming or what could have happened to him. Beabao, however, noticed that his guard was down, so she was able to snatch the phone from him looking pleased that she succeeded and quickly sped away from him. Meanwhile, Kinsey recovered himself and realized that his phone was taken from him and saw Beabao making mischievous expression at him. Kinsey knew he could get the phone back that easily, so he thought of a way to make her change her mind and give up on such an unrealistic dream. He knew that Beabao is quite stubborn and won't listen to whatever he says, so he decided that it's only their parents who can stop her. Kinsey tried to threaten that if she does not hand the phone over, she should not blame him for what will happen next as she cannot win him over now. When Beabao heard this, she hid the phone in her cleavage asking him to come and get it and that if he does, she would be sure to tell their father something else. Kinsey realized that he has messed up as he does not know how he can fix this, so he tried to calm her down, and said that they should talk as siblings, and that since his sister has a dream, so as her little brother he should support him. But then Beabao did not try to chase the dream when she was still very young as she is now 25 years old already. Beabao flared up as she replied that it is not too late for her to chase her dream. Kinsey then calmly continued that she cannot afford to act like a young girl at her age, prompting him to ask if she has any skills to which she could beat those popular and well-known celebrities, which she do not, and that it is not possible for her to face celebrities that have four to five head start than her as it not as easy as academics which she usually aced. Meanwhile, Beabao retorted that she still has a cute face and beautiful body which made Kinsey to reply that there are many pretty and handsome people already as she would not even be compared with them asking her to give up on childish acts. When Kinsey was trying to talk his sister out of being a superstar, the same voice sounded in his head again, as it told him that, in another world the superstars do not need acting skills at all as one handsome or pretty face can make anyone famous. Kinsey looked around vigilantly as he shouted who is the person talking to him, however, Beabao looked confused as she wondered what is wrong with her brother. The voice replied Kinsey as it asked him not to be nervous and introduced itself as an artificial intelligence system and have been traveling through time and space to which it currently living in his head. The next moment, Kinsey found himself back in the binded space to which he asked the voice if it was truly living inside his head. The voice replied him that people in his world won't be able to understand its intentions, so Kinsey can just think of it as a cheat that main characters in novel or comics has. This made Kinsey to be able to understand what the artificial intelligence system is actually, as he said the words out not knowing that his sister was with him, who asked why was he talking to himself. Kinsey immediately back away from her saying that he has to go to the hospital and get surgery done to which he left quickly. Beaba was confused but she asked him if he doesn't need his phone which made Kinsey to halt his steps and slumped on the chair looking terrified and asked his sister to save him. Beaba approached his brother and placed her hand on his head as she asked what was wrong with him, who replied that it's inside his head. But the next moment, Kinsey's countenance changed as he said that everything will be alright looking quite weird to his sister, but he quickly recovered himself back and explained that wasn't him at all. He found himself back in the binded space to which looked around asking the voice to reveal itself. The voice replied that Kinsey should not be too nervous as it have. Had many hosts just like him before but then they eventually get used to it which he will as. Well, so it asked Kinsey to complete his first mission and he will be rewarded but if he failed then it will deduct points, and if his points reach zero then it would choose another host. When Kinsey heard this, he was relieved as he thought that the end result would be his death so he asked the system to leave him. Meanwhile, the voice told him if it should leave his body, it is going to drain the current host's energy to which the host will be put in a vegetative state, it then asked again if Kin Z wanted to leave who quickly replied that he loves cheats the most hoping that the system won't eat his brains. Kin Z then asked the system what he should do. The system then stated the instructions and start its countdown from 3 hours. Kin Z quickly regained his composure and asked his sister if she wants to work in the entertainment industry and he is ready to give her some advice, as there is nothing wrong with being a superstar. He then declared that he would be her strongest backing looking quite enthusiastic. Beabao looked at her brother weirdly wondering if his brain is in disorder as he was the same person who fought tooth and nail to discourage her from being a superstar just moments ago. She quickly picked up the phone in an attempt to call for emergency, but was stopped by Kinsey, who grabbed her by the waist and snatched the phone away from her to which Beabao hopped on him and tried to get the phone back, which he held out of her reach. Kinsey asked her to stop messing around that he would help her to become a celebrity. It was then Beabao realized that he really meant what he said. Just to be sure, she asked him once again if he is not trying to trick her or anything which he replied firmly that he meant what he said. Bayaba was quite pleased and attempted to kiss her brother but was shoved away by him. And they resumed their discussion concerning about how Bayaba will get into the entertainment industry. Bayaba then told him that she has planned everything so Kinsey only had to keep mute about her and nothing else. And she explained further that she informed her superior about the reason why she resigned and her superior offered to help her as he has connections to Zingy Entertainment Company, to which around 10 o'clock is the audition. Kinsey was quite impressed as he realized that his sister has already mapped her path already without needing him to help and this actually decreased the difficulty of the mission by a large margin. 
He touched his sister's chin as he teased her that. He is actually working and thinking hard not knowing that she has already had everything planned out for her. It was then realized that the system might. Some connections with Zingy Entertainment Company which made the mission relatively easier while he was thinking that it would be really difficult to accomplish as he was just an ordinary high school graduate. Kinsey asked his sister why she was swaying around who then replied that she thought Kinsey has shut down again. However, Kinsey changed the topic as he urged her to get dressed as it would be time soon enough. After a while, Bayaba called Kinsey to help her check which of the underwears she should wear as she showed it to him. Kinsey froze upon the appearance of her underwear to which he then picked one of them. Bayaba seemed to be a lot nervous so she asked if he is certain. Kinsey became impatient so he walked into her room and helped her pick all the dresses, assuring her that by the time the judges sees her they will surely give her a big thumbs up. After what seemed like an eternity, Kinsey was able to finally find the one that is suitable for the audition. Bayaba looked quite pretty in the suit to which Kinsey had to look sideways as he compliment her. Meanwhile, Bayaba noticed that an edge close to him quite curious about the reason her little brother turned his head and cannot look at her in the eye. Kinsey quickly replied as that it was obviously because she is shining so much that he had to look sideways. Bayaba knew that Kinsey was not saying the truth, but she asked him to follow her as she head out of the apartment. They were later seen in the parking garage to which they entered the car. Bayaba removed her high heel shoes and flinged it at Kin who looked quite pissed that his sister messed around with him, who then poked at him with her legs which was slapped away by Kinsey, who said that her legs are stinky that she should smell it herself if she doesn't believe him. Bayaba just smiled at him as she replied that she would not argue with him as she was in a good mood and then start the car and moved out of the garage. As they were on their way to Zingy Entertainment Company, Kinsey thought back to what the system was about. So he slipped back into his subconscious mind and asked the system what exactly is it, which replied that it's a universal calculating system and explained further about itself that creatures of Kinsey's intelligence find it hard to define it, and that the aim of its creation is to know everything about the universe. However, Kinsey was quite confused as he does not how does its aim has to do with his own brain. The system then replied that the host's selection is random and in every dimension it's been in so far, all the host has been selected randomly. Kinsey did not understand what the system meant by in every dimension. The system then explained itself that the greatest mystery in the universe is the time and space, as they both overlap each other. Whereas, the universe is endlessly huge, and there is also an abundance of planets with extraterrestrial intelligence. And that its ability touched on that aspect so that was the reason it's been in every dimension and every host has been an influential man of his generation. Kinsey was quite amused by what the system said, so he asked if he can aim for the stars or be immortal. The system then replied that there are worlds that's been operated the same way Kinsey said but cannot be possible as Kinsey was, dependent on many things just to live for about a century and that each world has different laws of physics which means that humans cannot fly or cultivate by themselves. Kinsey became disappointed as he heard this, to which he retorted that the system cannot even grant a simple man's wish like his. The system then asked him to open the screen which he did by just saying it and clicked on the mission and then on the credit store but was restricted since the skill is not opened yet. The system then explained to him that the credit store is what's that will help him to reach the peak in his life, but could not be accessed as he hasn't finished his mission yet. So he had to finish his mission before he can purchase skills with his points. Kinsey then asked about how will his mission will be formed and hoped that it won't involve assault or murder. The system then stated that the mission will be decided based on the condition of the host at the time in connection with the people and things around him and what their heart wishes were as well. Kinsey then asked about the other features on the system interface which was explained by the system. At the traffic checkpoint, all cars stopped until the traffic lights switched to green. Bayaba waved her hands at Kinsey who looked a bit dazed. Kinsey however recovered his consciousness and slapped her hands away, telling her that he is fine, so Bayaba should focus her attention on while driving. Bayaba then replied him that she knew that already but she was thinking if she should send him to the asylum first. Kinsey wanted to continue to talk to her but stopped as he looked at her face which is quite pretty. Even when she was young, she was always pretty and was even the most popular and pretty girl in the school. This made Kinsey to wonder why was he so normal without anything unique about him. Not long after, they got to Zingy Entertainment Company headquarters, which is one of the top 10 of entertainment company with countless artists under it. There are also many Alice stars with strong background. Bayabawa's sudden swerve of the steering wheel caused Kinsey's face to collide with the car window with an unexpected force, leaving his face bruised and battered. As he rubbed his sore cheek, he couldn't help but reflect on all the unpleasant memories he had of Bayabao. Despite their shared history, he found himself struggling to understand why he always ended up in her company. As if sensing his inner turmoil, Bayaba stretched her legs towards him, casually asking him to put her shoes on for her. Kinsey was taken aback by her request, wondering why he should help her. Bayaba replied as she seemed to be dominating as she asked Kinsey about the person who raised him up all this years which made him to talk to her like that. Kinsey looked startled, but he held her legs as he wanted to put the shoes on for her. As Kinsey and his sister stepped out of their car, he retrieved his phone from his pocket and glanced at the screen, realizing that it was already half past nine. 
a wave of relief washed over him as he realized they still had two hours before the deadline for their mission. With this knowledge in mind, Kinsey turned to his sister and invited her to join him on their upcoming venture. Together, they made their way towards the towering edifice of the entertainment industry, their hearts beating with anticipation. As they approached the reception area, they were greeted by a sea of impeccably dressed individuals, each one exuding an air of confidence and authority. Kinsey couldn't help but feel a sense of intimidation wash over him as he gazed upon the imposing figures before him, causing him to momentarily lose his composure. Despite his initial apprehension, Kinsey took a deep breath and steadied himself, reminding himself of the importance of their mission. With renewed determination, he and his sister pushed forward, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Deabal then noticed him and asked him to puff up his chest and be confident or he would embarrass her. She then walked ahead with style and grace. Kinsey then followed along as they both got to the receptionist table and asked where the audition is taking place who then replied them that it's the second meeting room on the seventh floor asking them to take the lift to get there. Kinsey and Bayabao then towards where the elevator is but quite a number of people were already there waiting for the elevator to open which did, after a while. But Kinsey was stopped by Beabao who was looking scared as she whispered to him that someone might harass her in the elevator since there are many people in there. It was then Kinsey recalled the last time Beabao was being harassed by a strange guy in the public transport, which prompted her to kick the man in his groin and since then she had never squeezed in the public transport anymore. At the time, those who were waiting in the elevator became impatient and asked if Kinsey and Beabao will enter or not to which Kinsey told them that they are not taking the elevator. Kinsey and Beabao were seen as they got to the seventh floor to which they both walked to where the receptionist is, where she received the tag number 11 and was directed to where the audition will take place. As they walked to where the meeting room while Beabao put her arm around Kinsey's while they walked, However Kinsey looked pissed as he knew that his sister is messing around and they are in public. At that moment, a pretty young lady was seen as she noticed the duo and approached them to which Kinsey wanted to greet her but was totally ignored by the lady who faced Beabao and asked for her resume and her number sheet which Beabao gave her. The lady then smiled at her as she politely asked her to wait for a moment in the reception area to which they both sat down on the sofa in the place. Kinsey is quite pissed as he realized that he was totally ignored by the lady. His sister then asked him what was the reason he was angry. He replied that the lady did not even spare him a glance at all. Bayaba then teased him to which Kinsey was more concerned about the audition as it concerned his own well-being as well. Bayaba then said that the lady knows the main character that was why he was being neglected which prompted Bayaba to pinch Kinsey's cheek. This made everyone in the reception area looked at the duo who seemed quite unreserved. Bayaba smiled awkwardly at them as she waved her hands at them. People started gossiping that Bayaba must have gotten through by using her body, and that she even brought a pet which is actually Kinsey. However, Bayabao only smiled while Kinsey looked a bit dispirited as he saw that people does not have regards to his appearance at all. So well guys thanks for watching and the word of Millie Thompson from Trigun, every journey being with a single step we just have patience.